Hey guys, it's Steven and Eli with Experience the Outdoors. We did a video like this here a while back and uh, had some pretty good results and a lot of interaction on it of uh, swapping out the battery system for a uh, battery operated toy such as this. Uh, before we did a four wheeler, it was a six volt. We converted to 20 volt DeWalt. And on this one, this is a 12 volt uh, Peg Perigo Case Magnum tractor. And anybody that's ever dealt with these, you know, the batteries can be a pain in the high end. And the connectors on the batteries, they seem to get loose all the time. No matter what you do to them, they always get loose. So what we're going to do today is make it really easy. And we're going to uh, convert it over to DeWalt 20 volt lithium. Now, once we do this, Eli will be able to put this battery on charge himself and be able to get another battery that's already charged off the charger and slip it in here by himself so we're not messing with uh, plugging up the big battery in there which is something that he could not do on his own it's just really convenient to do so uh, the way that we're gonna there's several ways you could do this but the way that we're gonna do it you're gonna need a uh, Phillips screwdriver you're gonna need uh, let's see here wire connectors and uh, I got some two and a half three inch long screws I'll show you what that's for here in a minute I got three of those uh, three short screws and uh, wire strippers and we're going to use this right here it's an adapter and I'm going to put a link to these adapters where you can purchase them uh, straight through our uh, YouTube here it'll go to our eBay page and you'll be able to purchase them but uh, this adapter right here it uh, allows you to use DeWalt battery, 20 volt lithium. It's got an on and off power switch on it so you can turn that off. And uh, it's just really, really convenient. This is a really easy, short conversion. I know there's other ways to do this, but uh, this is just the way we're gonna do it. We've had this for a while. We've got actually got this tractor off someone uh, fairly cheap. So it was a hand-me-down kinda. And uh, anyway, just stick with us and uh, we'll show you how we do it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to disconnect the battery and on this particular one that we've got we're just going to pull the battery term the wires off the battery terminals All right, we'll set that aside so Eli can I have a Phillips screwdriver please thank you all right so the next thing you'll do is uh it's got a a thing in here that keeps it's like a battery brace like a protector holds the battery in place keeps it from moving around that's what we're going to do is take that off takes a Phillips screwdriver on this particular model two screws Just set those aside all right lift your battery out set it away you won't need that anymore now I've got a block of wood I believe this was six and three quarter inch uh, one by four is what fits in this and I'm just gonna stick it in right here like so tamp it down in there a little bit where it's tight and then I will take uh, this doesn't set flat in there uh, flat on a flat surface it's kind of raised up so I got uh, some longer screws I got some longer screws and I'm gonna take the longer screws and, and uh, put them down through, through this. Now they're not, you don't need to over tighten them. They're not, there's not anything in there really for them to bite on. It's just plastic down in there, but this will just kind of help keep, it kind of help keep that from uh, sliding around too much. I brought three screws, but I think two is sufficient there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, uh, let me see the position we want this. It has to be like this. Okay, make sure that your battery will easily slide out from the position that you put it in. It will right there. So I'm going to attach right there. I brought some little screws. 
I just had laying in a, a bolt bin with some random screws. So we can screw this down. Don't over tighten that. Plastic, it will crack and break. All right. Now that we got that in, we'll set our drill out of the way. I've done stripped the ends of this adapter. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna strip those down. Take this. Now, you want to make sure you get the proper wire on the proper wire. So, let me go ahead and strip this down too. Find my strippers. Strip that down. Twist your ends like that. Okay, you want to make sure you got the right wire going to the right wire. So your red comes in this side, that's your positive. Follow that all the way down. Okay, here's my red. So I've got some wire connectors laying here. I will slip that onto there, twist it on. Red and red. Said there's many different ways that people do this. This is just how we do it. Seems to work really well for us. On the end here, I'm going to do it. All right, there's the red. This next one will be the negative. Crimp that down. All right, that's in there. So then also uh, this particular model we got, it's got an inline fuse right here. So you wanna make sure that that fuse does not have a broken connection in there. So make sure it's all solid. If not, you will not get any power to this. So then just slip it in. Do a quick check. All right, so make sure that you uh, turn the switch on. All right, Eli, try the pedal over there. Let's see if it works. Just try the pedal. We're not going to go anywhere. Push the pedal down. All right, that works. Let's see what, what this thing can do. As 
you can see it's a lot faster than a typical 12 volt battery we got the 20 volt on it now you can put a voltage regulator on there and you can uh, regulate it down to 12 volts if you want to it might let your uh, motor last a little, little longer in there 